Good evening and welcome to St. Cyprian. Today we are celebrating the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father George, assisted by Deacon Andy. The intention for this evening's Mass is for Anne and Anthony Zampini. And our opening hymn will be number 606. Your words are spirit and, and life. As always, we kindly ask that you please silence your cell phone during the Thank you. Thank you. 
St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. For the husbands, for the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church. He himself, the savior of the body. As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives. Even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reverence to Christ and the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. moments 
and we must make the right decisions and choices to shape our future. In the first reading, we hear that as he came to the end of his mission, Joshua reminded Israel of how faithful the Lord had been to them. He then challenged his people to choose who they will serve. The people first responded that they had no intention of serving and following anyone except the Lord. But unfortunately, like us at times, they did not do well in keeping this promise. As soon as Joshua was gone, the people forgot the promise and ran to other false gods. Note that the psalmist today warns that those who turn to other, God, other false gods really wind up multiplying their own sorrow. Following other false gods is not a very good solution. In the second reading, St. Paul uses the analogy of marriage to explain and remind us of Christ's relationship to us. Marriage is a commitment. It takes work. It takes love. It requires a steadfastness to think of a spouse as much as ourselves. This relationship endures and shouldn't be discarded at a whim. Now, this is an apt reminder of the lasting love relationship God has for each of us. It is a relationship based on trust and faith. And it must endure the test of time. It is a sign to us that God's relationship with us is one which God will keep. And it is something we should not turn our backs on. In today's Gospel, some people upon hearing that God's love for them required them to reciprocate the dedication, endurance, and love God has for us didn't feel they wanted to or couldn't share this with people around them. Some people are just too selfish or self-centered for any reciprocal relationship with anyone, even God. To share love, care, acceptance, and concern with others is not always easy to do. Sometimes we may be tempted to turn against people and withhold our love and respect from them because of a variety of differences. But Jesus wants us to be loving and caring to all. To be loving, to be caring, to be faithful, requires a lot of effort and self-giving. There is no question that this is true in a marriage and family relationship, but the basic principles also apply to our relationship with others. So let us hope and pray that we may each day become more loving and caring people. God bless you.
I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten not made, constantly of the Father, through whom all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was in honor of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified in the month of trial, which he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, and according to the scripture. He ascended into heaven as a city of the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer our prayers to the Lord, acknowledging His awesome grace at work in our lives. That we as members of the church may share the saving message of Jesus through our compassionate outreach to others. And by lives of faithful witness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may abound in generosity mercy and protection for all people in the world let us pray to the lord lord I hear the prayer. that those whose lives are darkened by the shadow of sin or doubt may be drawn into the light of forgiveness and peace through the grace and mercy of god let us pray to the lord lord I hear the prayer. that all members and households of this faith community may have the grace to choose this day to serve the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. Well, all those who have died in God's mercy, will we pray in a special way for Arnie and Anthony Zampini, for whom this Mass is offered, and also remember Sandy Hodap, whose funeral was this morning. May they all the dead see the goodness of the Lord and eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we trust you to hear the cry of the just and ask what you grant your people the grace we need. We ask this to Jesus Christ, who is our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Our offering hymn, number 382, I'm sorry, 328, Bread of Life, number three.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and good of all the Church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gift of unity and peace in your Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs> Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Especially remember Annie and Anthony Zampini for whom we pray at this Mass, and also Sandy Hola, who recently passed away. Victims from war in Ukraine and Holy Land, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. But with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Cyprian, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, O I the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, he dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our waking bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious the grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. <laughs>
Brothers and sisters, remind you what usually we do outside mass that you can find bulletins to stations next to the collection boxes, exchange paper, this is something to the box, a bulletin. And we are coming back slowly to our uh, vacation regular year. We we'll remind you that uh, September are beginning PSR classes and also RCIA program. You can check this. Um, Special RCIA announced people around who wants to be Catholic or somebody wants to go different faith, just join for this class at the same time. It is PSR, the class is Monday evening. And uh, we have, all right, what about it? Not yet, PSR, it's time to register because some people who have like new students in family, uh, this is time to register new students to, to our classes, to PSR classes. And uh, tomorrow, what we announced, we have our parish picnic. Uh, we did before in our parish center, but now we uh, do in our parish, and not like before, a little bit later uh, after Mass, but directly after Mass at 11, it means we are begin our picnic around 12.07. <laughs> in, the, in the Alexander Hall or outside and uh, remember this insert from last uh, weekend uh, we serve some food but if some uh, decide somebody wants to come um, bring this it's, it's good we are full of this join for wonderful time social time then in our property uh, also because this is what we announced um, our uh, rivers raffle of the October 26th who are beginning pre-sale tickets tomorrow during the picnic and especially who will buy like here it's like uh, opportunity to win $100 if it's a early bird remember to check this information in the bulletin and remind you that Tuesday is day of adoration all day blessed sacrament in church and the altar and come talk to Jesus 3 p.m. pray together the divine mercy chaplet with fixing the evening rosary prayer follow his benediction, his ending of adoration. Please stand up. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. extra prayer pray for peace in the world, peace in our families, and also peace in Ukraine and Holy Land. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and our hope of our life. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks to God.